to go through this many bad hard drives in over 25 years blows my mind. Now I've shown you what I do to dispose of these things properly. I enjoy taking them apart, destroying the platters, and then saving all of those high powered magnets that are found inside. You know, it's kind of cool to see the inner workings of a hard drive and how it saves data on there, at least for the old school platter style hard drives. There's a lot of cool parts. Now, before we take them apart, I use two tools to access these drives just to make sure they are bad the old style IDE drives and the SATA drives. This USB 3 external drive mount allows me to access my SATA drive. And for those really old IDE drives, I have this IDE SATA drive adapter that I can plug into my Mac Studio using a USB 2.0. A lot of these drives marked bad came from external enclosures and there could be a lot of factors that cause it to be bad. It could be the enclosure itself, but this is just a way for me to test each one before I take it apart. These two tools help me check a lot of those hard drives just to make sure that they are indeed bad or if there's data that I wanna recover from. It. Still looking for my missing drive with all my ripped DVDs from 20 years ago. But today, nothing was recoverable. There was no data I needed to keep. We'll just add it to the stack to disassemble, get some more magnets and destroy those platters.